Hello everyone and welcome. Thanks for joining us for this episode of Raven Carolette, an episode where we're going to be playing uh, Magic with products themed from the recent Guilds of Ravnica release. Um, the show is brought to you by the Nexus, plug yourself, Dum Dum Die and Inkblot. Uh, my name is Stefan and today I'm joined by Kristen from the Dum Dum Die cast. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> so uh, do you want to tell us a bit about your recent experiences with Magic? It's fairly new to you, but uh, you want to tell us about how you've been experiencing the game? Probably about sort of five days into it. Um, I've played a couple of games and all I know is that I love Blue. Blue is amazing. Blue is fantastic. And I'm a big fan of the deck. So I'm very happy I'm playing with it. Yeah, so yeah, blue, lots of permission based play. So yeah. you like the one who gets to say yes or no to things. Yes, I like the power of the yes and the no. So, as I said, we're going to be playing with some of the planeswalker decks from Guilds of Ravnica. There's obviously an Izzard one and there's a Gari one which features Brassica. You're going to be playing with the Izzard one featuring Ralzarek. <laughs> Do we get to unbox? Yeah, let's uh, open these up. You did one of the online personality tests and you yes. got a guild assigned to which was. Actually, it was Simic Combine. Simic Combine. Okay. But my second choice was Izzard. So it said either be a Simic Combine or you can play it. So both wonderful blue decks. So I think we're off to a good start. I am so super excited. I get to play Izzard. It's blue, it's red, it's all the things that I love about a deck. Yeah, we'll have to wait until the Ravnica Legions release before we can play with some Simic themed uh, products. But uh, yeah, Izzard's pretty cool. Uh, the crazy scientists on. Ravnica. So I'm playing the Gogari deck, it's mostly creature based. Uh, it means I'm going to be the aggressor in any of the games. So I'm playing with the Gogari deck. My promo card is Vraska Regal Gorgon. Uh, costs 7 mana to play, comes to play with 5 loyalty counters. And then the plus ability is put a plus 1 plus 1 counter onto one target creature. That creature gains menace until end of turn. Minus 3 is destroy target creature. And then her ultimate is for each creature card in your graveyard, Put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. And, you know, mostly playing creatures is my favorite way to kill someone just purely through combat damage. Sounds very intimidating. I'm going to read mine now. I've got R Ral, Caller of Storms. He's a legendary planeswalker. Uh, I get a plus one ability, which is draw a card. A minus two ability, which is Ral, Caller of Storms, deals three damage divided as you choose among one, two, or three targets. And a minus seven ability, which draws seven cards. Ral, Call of Storms, deals seven damage to each creature your opponents control. Oh, yeah. it's, a, it's a pretty game breaking effect. has four loyalty as well. And we're gonna start with the shuffling. So I'm Mulligan, and I draw six cards, and I get Ral, Ral, Ral Planeswalker. I don't care what else I have in my hand. As okay. the blues like to um, say. To go, I will start off with a swamp. Okay. And pass the turn. So I'm looking at my opening hand. I've got a creature I can play in my second turn. I've got a creature I can play in my third turn. It all has a removal spell, and I've got some four lands in it. So like, this is a pretty good place to start off with. We'll start off with a island. You can draw a card. I'm drawing a card first, <laughs> and then I'm playing an island, and then I'm passing the turn to you. <laughs> I'm gonna tap black and green and add the Swarm Guild Mage. So he's a 2-2, two -two. he's got two abilities. The first one is I pay five and tap him. Creatures I control gain plus one, plus zero, and menace until end of turn. So if they have menace, it means each creature can only be blocked by two or more creatures. Okay. Gives them a bit of evasion. And then the second ability is pay two and tap, I gain two life. The Guild Mage to be able to play him in turn two is great because he's got two abilities. Either he can sneak through damage or alternatively he can give me a bit of life. He's got a decent body on him, so I'm pretty happy with that turn two play. I don't like that gain two life. Okay, so I'm going to draw. And I'm going to play a mountain. I feel like it's a pretty expensive hand here. And I'm gonna pass the turn to you. I've got Ralph Planeswalker, it's fine, it's fine. We're fine, we're fine! Yeah, right? And 
I'm going to go combat and I'll attack you for two. So I'm playing against the Izzard deck. There's, I'm expecting a lot of spells. They typically have a lot of instant speed interaction. Uh, and I've been saying, seeing Kristen, she hasn't played a lot of permanents, but she has a handful of cards. All her mana's untapped. So I've been wary. Maybe she's going to be playing some sort of instant that might catch me unawares. I have nothing to defend myself with. Oh, this is mildly irritable. And then after combat, I'll summon another creature. Crawl Raider. It's rather there, better there for me to bluff by keeping my own mana open while I'm attacking. See if she does anything. If she doesn't, I'll just play my creature like Antenna 2 after combat. He's a 2-3 and he has mana, so he can also only be blocked by two or more creatures. Okay. Intimidating at all. Okay, uh, you may go. Okay, okay I'm going to play a mountain. I finally have a creature. Drew a creature. Uh, the fearless Holbadur. Who's a creature human warrior and is 3 2. So I went ahead and I played it, and that was the start of my downfall. I passed my turn. Okay. Forest. I will go combat and. I don't feel like this game is going to end before it begins. <laughs> See, I will attack with both of my creatures. So that one has menace, you won't be able yeah. to block him now, but yeah. you can choose to block that. Swarm Guild Mage, if you choose. And I'm gonna take four. Cool. Okay. And I will then, after combat, tap three, play a Tenant of Ruska. So it's a 3-3 three, three zombie. And when the Tenant of Ruska dies, if you control of Ruska Planeswalker, you gain life equal to a Tenant of Ruska's power. And I'll uh, pass the turn back to you. The three power and three toughness creature for three mana, which is decent stats. It obviously has an interaction with the Vraska Planeswalker. I know my Planeswalker is going to cost seven mana, so it's going to be quite some time before I maybe get to have an effect out of the Vraska's Attendant. I don't yet have it in my hand, but I might as well get it out. Maybe there's a benefit I can gain some life a little bit later on. At this point in time, just keep my fingers crossed. It'll be really cool to draw the Vraska. All right, and I will put in here Ral's Staticaster. Who is a creature? He's a Viashino wizard and he has triple. This creature can deal excess combat damage to the player or planeswalker it's attacking. Whenever Ral Staticaster attacks, if you control a Ral planeswalker, uh, Ral Staticaster gets plus one plus zero for each card in your hand until end of turn. Got a Staticaster and I don't know if I need to if the ability triggers if I have the Planeswalker in my hand or if I have it in play. And I'm going to attack with uh, my Fearless Halberdoon. Okay, so he's just going to be tapped there. I will... I will block that guy. Okay. Okay, with Martina Ruska, so that's enough for both of them to kill each other. Wow. And I'll attack you with my menace creature. So that's two damage. This damage is just gonna go straight through. And I will take it. Okay. After combat, I'll play a second attendant of Vraska. I feel like this never ends. What is happening here? It's called the Bulgari Swarm. So yes, it's very swarm like. There's a theme here. Yes, I can um, see. I'll pass the turn to you. That will draw. Play this mountain. I'm trying to remember now where the Ravel costs six, I think you'd said. So uh, I'm going to have to get rid of the stat cost before Ravel might hit the battlefield, otherwise, it's going to start hitting me pretty hard. <laughs> I'm not sure. It, the card may hit you pretty hard, the player may not know how to hit you very hard. There are two very different scenarios, yeah. Um, and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to pass my turn. Okay. Well, while you have a lot of mana, you still have a handful of cards. I am putting, playing my cards, but sooner or later I'm going to run out of cards to play. I'll go to combat. I'll take you for five. Stop hitting me. Stop. Just stop. Stop! <laughs> stop! Please stop! <laughs> Just stop! It's going to be a very um, quick game at this point. If oh. I don't get something worth fighting with. And I'll pass the 20. Play 
Okay, no, let's put this on. Let's keep it even. Even Stevens! And... Oh hell, why not? Okay, let's play a round call of storms and we're gonna tap everything. Yes! So she manages to resolve her L planes all go against me. He's pretty decent. He's a card advantage ending. He gets to draw when he ticks up. If he ticks down, he gets to ping a lot of creatures. It's either three damage to one target or one, three damage split amongst a lot of targets. Luckily, I'm in a position where none of my creatures have only one toughness, so she's really only going to be able to target one of my creatures. Now you've got a Planeswalker in play, so mm -hmm. that's going to change things. So I've put my Planeswalker down. I'm going to put the counter up four. I don't know if there's okay. a spot to do that. Anywhere on the card is fine. Yeah. And I'm going to... I'm going to attack with him. Yeah. Roll on the field! I don't know how to use this card. How do I use this card? This is a good card. How do I use it? So let's just deal with him first and then I will deal with Ral after. Okay, so I've taken six damage. I'll go down to 14. Okay, and then Ral, I'm going to get rid of your menace. I have three out on the battlefield. She's going to get rid of one of them. She's got one blocker available, but I'm still feeling fairly confident. Her life total's fairly low. And I think I've got enough creatures to deal with her, even if she managed to get rid of one of them. So if, if someone attacks a Planeswalker, you get the option to, same as when you do when they're attacking you, you get to block with some of your creatures that are... I don't have any other creatures to block. That's why I'm saying, don't have a target thing. It's fine, I'm just going to drink water. And I can on Spinal Centipede, when he's a 3-2, when he dies, I get to place a plus one, plus one counter on target creature that I control. And Rel is there, but you're on seven life. But it's like your life total for five. Oh dear. And uh, with that, I'll end my turn. Ready? You don't think you've done enough? Okay, let's reset everybody. I'm going to do the plus one ability with Rel. So that will take me up to three. And I am going to cast Precision Bolts. I say to Mighty Smitings of God in the form of a Precision Bolt. Because, God damn it. Twice because you annoyed me. Okay. Which deals three damage to any target. These two. Kill both those guys. Yes. Okay. So when my Spinal Centipede dies, there's a trigger. So mm -hmm. I get to put a plus one plus one counter on a creature. I'll do it on this guy. Okay, cool. I, I passed my turn. Okay. You have two cards in hand. Yes. Dear. Okay, so that static cost is a 5 3. Okay, then I'm going to attack you with the Swamp Guild Mage. Okay. I'm going to defend with Ral's Static Caster. But these two will kill each other. Okay. And then Without after combat, I'm going to play. Lockleth Giant. In my final attack step, I've got two, or my final turn rather, I've got two options. I can either activate the first ability on my guild mage, give my creature menace, at which point she won't be able to block because she's only got one defender available. But I decided, you know what, it's much better to just kill them with the cool giant zombie, uh, which I ended up deciding to do. You know, it's great. Tap out for seven, play a giant creature. It happens to have a really cool ability when it enters the battlefield that I get to deal damage to my opponent. It's a nice way to end the game. Mm -hmm. Seven. He's a zombie giant, he's a 6-5. And undergrowth, when Lot of Giant enters the battlefield, it deals one damage to target opponent for each creature card in your game. So I've got no, he brings out the giant, it's done, it's over, I'm done. Why am I here? I'll centipede and swarm guild mage. I'll do five damage to you, Good game, well played. Good game, good game. Well well, thank you for joining us for this episode of Ravnica Roulette, where we had a face-off between the Izzet Planeswalker deck and the Golgaric Planeswalker deck. Uh, Ralzarek made an appearance. We didn't see Vraska around, but uh, nonetheless, uh, Golgari was able to take the day. Uh, please be sure to tune in next time. I'd like to thank those who made the show available. Dum Dum Diecast, um, Inkplot, Nexus, as well as Unplug Yourself. Check the table and you're going to like and subscribe to everyone and all the things, and we just want to see you show some love.